Okay, another three problems. So, we'll go with convection. Okay, ito naman yung H. Uh, ang tawag dyan sa constant na yan. Hindi mm, ko maalala yung tawag sa kanya. Film coefficient ang, ang tawag dyan. Film coefficient ata. Oh, kung naalala ko. Film coefficient. Okay, so, this is problem number four. A heat exchanger. Excuse me. Is to be designed for the following specifications. Ayun, unit surface conductance that is uh, H. Ayun, unit surface conductance H and then H2. Now, the heat exchanger is to be designed of the following specifications. Okay? Hot gas temperature is about 1,145 degrees Celsius. The cold gas is at 144 ba yan? Tignan natin. 144? I think not 44 degrees Celsius. Tama siya. Okay? And then, uh, unit surface conductance is 2130. Check ko ha. Hindi ata 2130 to. 230. 230 yan. Di 2130. 230. Masyado malaki yan. 230 uh, watt per meter squared degree Kelvin. And then unit surface conductance on the cold side is uh, 290. Thermal conductivity of the metal wall is 115 watt per meter degree Kelvin. Find the maximum thickness of the wall between the hot gas and the cold gas so that the maximum temperature of the wall does not exceed 548 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, hindi natin alam yung what? The thickness. Let us solve first. Meron ka daw dito wall. Okay? Let me draw first. And ito yung wall mo. Mabalik ko yung drawing ko. And Then meron ka dito yung hot side, okay? Yung hot side mo dito. This is uh 1400 1145 degrees Celsius. Then, meron kang cold side. Okay? Na 44 degrees Celsius. Meron ka daw ditong HO. That is 230. Watt per meter squared degree Kelvin. Meron ang HI. 290. Okay? 290 watt per meter squared degree Kelvin. Ayan. So, the thermal conductivity of the metal wall, yung K niya, will be 115 watt per meter degree Kelvin. Sir, napakarami naman po nang hinahanap dyan. Ah, napakarami ng given. Eh, wala kang X eh. Okay? The first one to do is to find yung kanyang Q. Okay? Q in, Q out. Okay? Q hot, Q low. Yan. Hindi mo alam to. Okay? Hindi rin binigay yung kanyang area. So, therefore, ang hinahanap mo dyan is the heat that is given of per unit area. Okay? From the conductance formula. Okay? Unahin natin. The conductance formula. Okay? Ang conductance formula mo, Q is equal to, meron kang hot side and inside. Yan. Yung conductance mo, di ba ilan yan? Equal to, hindi nga. What? Kung natatandaan nyo kanina, that is delta T A divided by what? Yung 1 over H O plus K the x over k x over k plus 1 over h i sir tignan niyo to ano bang unit nito okay anong unit to 
Sir, ang unit po nung x over k is in meter per watt per meter degree Kelvin. Pag pinagsama-sama mo yan, sir, anong lalabas na unit dyan? Diba, iakit mo ito. The meter squared degree Kelvin per watt. Sir, yung H, ano bang unit niyan? Ito, balik ta rin mo. Kung 1 over H, o, oh, di 1 over watt per meter squared degree Kelvin. Iangat mo ito, equal yan sa uh, meter squared degree Kelvin over watt. O, di ba pareho lang? Okay? Pareho lang nun. Sundin mo yan. Now, you have this formula now. Kung meron kang conductance, okay, unit surface conductance. Now, kapag convective heat naman, for convective heat, that is Q nung inside is equal to HI area multiplied to T inside minus TO. Yun lang. Ganun lang adali yun. Okay? Do you need to measure that? Actually, no. Same, same lang naman yun ng same lang naman yun ng hot side. Okay. Pero kailangan mong makuha yung heat mo. Okay? Heat per unit area. U over A is equal to HI. Ano ba HI na binigay sa'yo dyan? 230 watt per meter squared degree Kelvin. What is your area? Not given. So, kaya nga nandito. Yung TI minus TO. TI minus TO. Tignan mo. Yung change in temperature mo. Ayan o. 548. Yung TI mo. That is 1145. So, 1145 minus 548 degree Kelvin. You can now solve for Q over A. Q over A, 230 multiplied to 1145 minus 548. Yan. So, you will have 137310 watt per meter squared. Okay. Sir, ang inahanap dito is the maximum thickness of the metal wall, yung X. Okay. Sir, dito ko hahanapin yan. No? Pwede na ba ako dyan, sir, mag... Ano? Pwede na ba ako mag-algebra dyan? Actually, pwede. Pero dito, Q over A equal to delta T over 1 divided by HO plus X over K plus 1 over HI. Sir, pagsamahin ko muna itong dalawang to. Okay? Q over A equal to delta T over yung dalawa. Okay? 1 over HI plus 1 over HO plus x over k. Algebra lang yan eh. O, oh, sige. Subukan natin. Gusto niya mag-algebra? Okay. Angat natin to dito. x over k plus 1 over hi plus 1 over ho equal to q over a hindi pala. Delta T over Q over A. Sir, ano po ba yung delta T mo dyan? Is that yung 1145 minus 44? Or 1145 minus 548? Actually, dapat to. 11, ano? Tinga, 1145 minus 44. Kasi sila yung temperature difference. Dyan, ito. Temperature difference. On the hot side to the low side. Ito naman does not exceed, okay? Maximum temperature of the wall. Hindi yan po ang gagamitin mo. Okay? Gagamitin mo yung 1145 minus 44. Kasi sila yung extremities, okay? T hot minus T low. So, X. I-finalize ko na ito, ah. So, X over K will be equal to delta T over Q over A minus 
1 over hi plus 1 over ho. O. Ito na lang, k na lang, x equal to k. Algebra lang. Delta t over q over a minus 1 over hi plus 1 over ho. O. Now, you can solve for x. So, x equal to delta t. Okay? Sa delta t, 1145 minus 44. 44 degree Kelvin divided by Q over A, 137, 310 watt per meter squared. Minus. Okay. 1 over 230 watt per, what pa yan? 230 watt per meter square degree Kelvin plus 1 over 290 ayan, 290 290 watt per meter square degree Kelvin okay, multiply by K what is K? napin natin si K the K is 115 watt Okay? 115 watt per meter degree Kelvin. Ngayon, in millimeters ba ang hinahanap dyan? Yes, in millimeters. Mamaya natin convert. Cancel muna natin yung same units. Okay? So, Kelvin. 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 Yung watt. Yung watt. Okay? Yung watt. Yung Kelvin. Yung watt. Yung meter squared. Meter squared. Meter squared. Maiging... One lang, okay? Yung meter. So, ang lalabas dito is in meter. Okay? X equal to. Multiply natin. Okay, lahat na. So, this is 1145 minus 44 over 137310 minus 1, 2, 3, 1 divided by 230 plus 1 divided by 290. Ayan. And then you multiply it with 115. Okay, 115. The answer is 0.02556 six meters multiplied to 1000 millimeter 1 meter times 1000 the answer will be 25.56 approximately 25.56 millimeter okay that will be the thickness of the wall okay that is for problem number 4 then nakadali and number 5 A pipe. Okay. A pipe with an outside diameter of 2.5 inches is insulated with a 2-inch layer of asbestos. Okay. Ka. Ayan na yung kanyang thermal conductivity. Followed by a layer of cork. Ayan na rin yung kanyang uh, conductivity. If the temperature of the outer surface of the cork pipe is 90 degrees Fahrenheit, And uh, 290 respectively. Calculate the heat loss. Tama ba yung pagkakatype sa problem? Per 100 feet of insulated pipe. Cork and pipe. O, oh, tama. Tama yan. So, cork and pipe. Going back to the notes. Okay. Tignan nyo dito. Okay, this is pipe. Okay, yan. Composite pipe. Pag composite pipe, okay, ito yun. Yan. Paste natin dito. For composite pipe, okay, ito yung conduction niya. So, the Q will be the same throughout. 
Okay? It will be the same throughout. So, sir, yung baba, gawin mo na naman ulit na RT. Okay? Yun lang yun. Yung RT mo will be equal to, sir, LN nung R2 minus R1 over K minus 1. Ah, K sub 1 plus LN nung R3 divided by R2 over K sub 2. Ganito lang, para hindi ka nalilito. Sir, pag pinag-simplify ko sila, therefore, yung Q will be equal to 2 pi what? K sub 2, K sub 1. Actually, hindi dapat ganun. Tanggalin mo yung K. Tanggalin tong K na to. This is L, kasi nandito na sa baba yung K. L T A minus o T H minus T low yung extremes divided by RT. Ayan. Ganyan lang pagka-solve niya. Okay? Ngayon, meron ka dyang pipe. Ito na yung formula. Okay? Where RT is two ways ng pag-solve sa kanya. It's by parts or even pwede siyang yung dire-direcho. Pero ako, I prefer by parts. Para kung sakali magkamali ka man, hindi dire-direcho yung pagkakamali mo. Okay, hanapin natin. Sinabi dito, meron kang a pipe with an outside diameter of 2.5 inch insulated with 2 inch, with a 2 inch layer, uh, layer of asbestos followed by a layer of cork. Okay? So, meron ka ng pipe. Okay? Section by section natin. So, di tayo magsimula. Ngayon muna natin to. Bilog na lang. Mag-draw na lang ako. Drawing tayo ng bilog. Ayan. So, ito daw yung pipe mo. Okay? So, meron kang 2 inches dyan. 2 inch pipe. 2.5. Ayan, 2.5 inch. And then, followed by 2 inch layer of asbestos. 2 inch layer. Ibig sabihin, a thickness. Okay? Thickness nung una, thickness nung pangalawa. Okay? As, as soon as, uh, nagbibigay pa siya ng given. So, another yan. Okay? Another. Okay. Ayan. Itlog. So, 2 inch layer of something. Okay, dalawa yung pumatong. So, isa pa. Meron ka ulit cork. Drawing nyo para mas maintindihan nyo. Okay? Ayan. Pasensya nyo na yung drawing. Ganun talaga. So, yung nauna. Okay? Nauna dito. From here up to here. Pagawin natin para hindi kayo nalilito. From the center, ang sukat niya is 2.5 inch. That is the radius. 2.5 ba? Diameter pala yan. 2.5 divided by 2, 1.25. 1.25. Inch, okay? And then, binigyan ka from here up to here. Okay? Yung thickness nito, Pak, pag ganun. Okay? Yung initial plus 2 inch layer. Okay? Initial plus 2 inch layer. That is 3.25. Okay? And then from there up to the last part. Okay? And then, followed by yung cork na 1.5 inch. E di 3.25 plus 1.5, I think that is 4.75. 4.75 inch. 
Sir, paano po namin solve yan? O, di, punta ka muna dito sa RT. Okay? RT is equal to yung LN ng saan ka magsimula? Gusto mo inner muna? O, di inner. R2 over R1. Okay? R1 divided by yung what? Mm-hmm. Divided by Ka, okay? Ka. Yung asbestos plus Ln ng R3 over R2 over K ng quark. O, ganyan lang. Simple lang. Tapos ipapasok mo siya dito after nun. Okay? Excuse me. 2 pi L. So, RT muna. RT is equal to makancel naman yung units dito. LN ng 3.75 Tama ba? 3.75 pa yan. 3.25 pala. 3.25 3.25 over 1.25 over KA. Anong binigay dyan? Ayun, 0.396 BTU inch. 0.396 BTU inch per uh, hour feet squared degree Fahrenheit plus LN nung R2. R3 na. So, 4.75 over 3.25 multiplied to KC. What is KC? 0.30. BTU inch per R. Matagal talaga mag-solve nito. Feet squared. Sinosolve ko kasi siya ng naka- Impromto. So, RT. You store the value. Okay. Yan na. LN, the loan, natural logarithm of 3.25 over 1.25. Mahirap magturo ng i-transfer online. Over 0.396 plus yung natural logarithm. Hindi ta- hindi to kakasya ng ano, calculator ah. Kaya dapat isa-isa mo sino solve. 3.25 and then 0.3. Yan. So what will be the value of RT? Ah, uh, wag mo munang i ano, i round off. 7 7 8 7 3 0 9 5 7 7 8 7 3 0 9 5. Anong unit niyan? R R feet squared degree Fahrenheit per BTU inch. Okay na yan. As is na. Store natin tong value niya kay A. Para hindi na tayo magta-type. RT. Sir, going back. Ayan na. Hanapin na natin yung Q. What will be the Q? Q is equal to 2 pi L. May area ba dyan, sir? Wala na. Delta T divided by RT. Okay. 2 pi multiplied to the length. Anong binigay mong length dyan? One hundred feet. Delta T. Temperature difference, 290 tsaka 90. Degree Fahrenheit over RT. 3 point. 3.67787 R feet squared. Degree Fahrenheit over BTU. Inch. Okay. May nakita kang inch? Yes. 
Ang gagawin mo dyan sa inch, multiply mo na agad ng 12 inch, 1 foot. Yun. So now, you will ano, cancel yung mga units na pare-parehas. So yung feet, yung feet, yung feet squared, okay? Feet, feet, feet squared, inch, inch, degree Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit. BTU ang usapan. BTU per hour. Okay, ito na yun. So, the answer will be, always learn how to store yung value dyan sa calculator para hindi kayo paulit-ulit ng input. 2 pi times 100 times 290 minus 90, 200. Divide by, recall natin yung nakastore na value kay A which is RT times 12. The answer will be 2847. 2847 Q will be 2847.2911 BTU per R. That is the heat that is transferred through the walls of the pipe. Okay? Ganun lang kadali yun. I-drawing mo and then part by part. Sir, gusto ko siyang i-dire-direcho. Sige, i-dire-direcho mo. Haba na i-solve mo. But the way that I'm teaching you is not to complicate the things na dapat nyo isolve. Kailangan part by part nyong isosolve. Unahin nyo parati yung RT. Once na solve nyo yung RT, you store the value on the alphabets of your calculator and then you can use that later on. Hindi yung sabay-sabay. Kasi pag sabay-sabay, kahit yung calculator mo malilito. Okay? Hindi lang ikaw malilito. Ay, pag nalito ka, magkakram ka na, di ba? Hindi mo na masasagot yung number. That is the bad habit na meron tayo. Kailangan, we simplify the things para ano? Para masolve natin sila na mas maigi. Okay? That is for problem number 5. How about problem number 6? This is the problem. At what rate does the sun lose energy by radiation? The temperature of the sun is about 6,000 Kelvin and its radius is 6.95 times 10 to the 5th power kilometers. So, we are talking about radiation na. So, tapos na tayo na conduction, convection, radiation naman tayo. Okay? Let us define first what is radiation. Now, nandito na tayo sa puntong, meron tayong radiation. Ayan. Yung radiation is a form of wave motion that obeys the same laws as the other waves. But when we are talking about heat transfer, Okay, radiation is the heat transfer in which invisible electro electromagnetic waves are passed from one body to another through a space. So we are talking about one body, and that body has a certain coefficient. Okay, under Stefan Boltzmann law, it states that the amount of radiation from a black body is proportional to the fourth power of the absolute temperature. So yan nagmula yung ating formula for radiation. Okay. So, makukuha natin dito yung radiative heat. Okay? Ngayon, let's go to the problem. For radiative heat, okay, Q radiation, that is equal to the Stefan Boltzmann constant, and then you multiply it with the emissivity. Okay? Depende ito kung gray body, white body, or black body. Ngayon, habang nagiging black body siya, it goes near to 1. Ang black body kasi is 1. White body, mas mababa. Okay? And then, you multiply it with the uh, area of contact. Okay? And then, area projected, ha? area projected, or the area of the surface, and then multiplied to the temperature raised to the fourth power. Now, let's go back. What is the Stefan Boltzmann Constant. Tignan nyo dito. Shift. Constant. Tignan nyo natin yung 37. No. Uh, tignan nyo yung likod ng inyong calculator. Nandyan yung Stefan Boltzmann na constant. Uh, tignan ko lang muna. Yung mukhang kuto. Ang tawag ko dyan, mukhang kuto. So that is, uh, ito ah, sa calculator nyo. Okay. On your calculators, this is shift. Tapos, plus 7, or, cancel natin. Shift, press 7, and then press 31. Try nyo. Shift, 
constant tapos 31. That is the Stefan Boltzmann constant. The Stefan Boltzmann constant, okay? Ang unit niyan is 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8. Ano yan? Tignan nyo dito. The Stefan Boltzmann is watt meter squared Kelvin to the fourth power. Watt meter squared Kelvin to the fourth power. Going back, ayun no. Kelvin to the fourth power. Okay? Yan na lang ang tandaan nyo. Wag na kayong mag... Wag nyo tandaan to. Complicated pa yan. Ito na lang tandaan nyo. 5.67. Okay? So, we can solve now. Okay? The radiative heat of the sun will be Q equal to 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8 watt per meter squared Kelvin to the fourth. Okay? And then, multiply to the emissivity. What is the emissivity of the sun? Okay? That is always 1. And then, the projected area. ba? Kapag cylindrical. Okay? The sun is cylindrical. Ay, cylindrical. Spherical. So, this is 4 pi r squared. Yung binigay dyan, the temperature of the sun, it's radius. Ayan, radius na. This is 4 pi multiplied to the radius, okay, 6.95 times 10 to the 5th km. Kaya lang nakameter yan, okay? Km multiplied to temperature to the 4th, 6,000 Kelvin raised to the 4th power. Mag-convert na ba tayo? Yes. Kailangan natin mag-convert. Kasi yung kilometer natin, okay, square natin to. Gawin natin tong meter. So, 1 kilometer, 1,000 meters squared. Okay. Cancel all the same units. So, yung meter squared, yun dito, meter squared, squared, kilometer, kilometer squared, k to the fourth, k to the fourth, ang natira is watts na lang. Okay? Malaki yan. Malaki magiging sagot dyan. So, press ulit natin. Paano masasolve? Shift, constant, 31. Stefan Boltzmann constant, multiply to 4, shift, pi, multiply to 6.95, times 10 to the 5th squared times 6,000 to the 4th okay, times 1,000 squared. The answer will be, ayan, napakalaki nung radiative heat ng sun. 4.4606. Times 10 to the 26th power watts. That is the radiative heat of the sun. Laki no? Tunaw ka na dyan. Okay? Ganun lang adali kapag radiative heat of single body. Okay? Later on, mapag-uusapan natin yung radiative heat from body to body. Okay? Let us take a 5-minute break.